Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with logs. We have x to the power 1 over log x times log x equals 1, and we're going to be looking for x values. So there is a couple of ways to approach this problem. One method would be to take a look at x to the power 1 over log x, like set it equal to another variable like y, and then log both sides and simplify it first, or looking at the whole thing and simplifying uh, like that. So I'm going to use the second approach. Let's go ahead and log both sides. So I'm going to log the product here, x to the power 1 over log x multiplied by log x. And on the right hand side, log 1 is going to be 0. Now why is log 1 0? Let's go ahead and quickly remember what the definition of logs are. For those of you especially who are not familiar with logs, don't worry about it. It's very easy to understand. If you know exponentials, you'll understand logs. So if you have something like log a with base b, b is the base here by the way, equals like let's say x, then we can safely say that this means b to the power x equals a. That's what the definition of logs are and that's what we're going to use all the time. All right, great. So, but we have a product here. So let's remember the product rule for logs, which can be proven by the way, by using the definition. Let's just quickly remember that. If you have something like log a, b, you can write it as log a, plus log b. Here I'm using base 10 all the time since uh, it's not written it's base 10 but uh, this is true for any base. Okay so let's go ahead and use that property uh, so that product turns into a sum in other words we get log x to the power 1 over log x plus log log x equals log 1 which is 0. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this carefully Note that we can move this forward, like to the front, because that's a power, and we have the log. That's why we're logging both sides, because you don't want variables in the exponent. You actually want to bring them down. So now, when you do it, you're going to get something like this. 1 over log x multiply by log x plus log log x equals 0. And we've done this before, uh, the first part. Hopefully, you'll remember that if you've seen the other videos on x to the power 1 over log x or 1 over ln x, something like that. Here, log x cancels out. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Those two cancel out, leaving us with 1 plus log log x equals 0. So 1 plus something equals 0. When you think about it, what do you get? It needs to be negative 1, right? So 1 plus negative 1 equals 0. So from here, we get a simpler equation. Log of log x equals negative 1. At this point, let's go ahead and remember the definition. Now, if I have a log equation, I can always turn it into an exponential equation by using this definition. Very easy, right? But since the base is not written, let me go ahead and write that down. Here, the base would be 10. So by using our definition, we can safely say that this is 10 to the power of negative 1, and it should equal log x. In other words, from here we get log x equals 10 to the power negative 1. And 10 to the power negative 1 is the reciprocal, so we can write it as 1 over 10. Now we got another log equation because this is a double log. So log x equals 1 over 10, again can be solved by using the definition. What is the definition? Put a 10 here and then raise 10 to the power 1 tenth. So from here we get x equals 10 to the power 1 over 10, and that's going to be our only solution. And of course, we can write 10 to the power 1 over 10 as the 10th root of 10, which is, by the way, a small number. If you use a calculator to evaluate that, you're going to get the answer. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see what this graph looks like. So I graphed this for you, like the whole thing, y equals x to the power 1 over log x multiplied by log x. And notice that it's the same thing as log x, the graph of log x. Why? Because this is a constant, right? So we're basically looking at the graph of log x, and it intersects a horizontal line, which is y equals 1, at x equals 10 to the power 1 over 10. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And bye-bye.